Okay, we're going to make some wine. This isn't the cheapest way, but it is in some ways the easiest. What we've got here is a blow-off tube. Okay, everything's been cleaned. We have yeast, we have juice, and we have a glass of water. And my parents would be happy if they knew I was using one of the glasses that came from them. You'll notice that you can't tell whose grape juice I am using. It's one of these. Okay. One says 140 calories per 8 ounce fluid serving. And the other says 150 calories per 8 ounce fluid serving. Doesn't matter which. Essentially, that is the same. You're off by just a little bit. Okay. That will make a little bit more alcohol. Not enough to giggle about. Okay. The other thing is if you go down, 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 deep in the ingredients. Grape juice from concentrate with ascorbic acid added. If you look down in the ingredients. Filtered water, grape juice from concentrate, citric acid, and ascorbic acid. They are essentially the same. What you don't want is grape drink, which typically has like 30 or 40 calories per 8 ounce glass. The calories of sugar are what's going to get converted into wine. So you need it to be grape juice normal and 140 to 150 calories per 8 ounce glass is normal. Okay. The other thing you don't want is in that list of ingredients, as you'll find in white grape juice, you'll find some interesting things that prevent the uh, oxidation from occurring. And they are in there not to prevent fermentation, they'll do that as well, but they will make the white grape juice stay white and clean. Um, has nothing to do with anything you need. And in fact, they are the actual inhibitor for yeast. Go figure. Anyway, what you want to do is you take yeast. Now, do not use the yeast from the grocery store. That's bread yeast. What I have here is Lalvin uh, EC1118. That is, if you get to the fine print, which I don't think I can pick up. Maybe, maybe. Okay, sparkling wines. That's the important bit, okay? Okay, that's for making um, champagne and whatnot. So this is not for making uh, anything like uh, beer. You can use it for making beer, but it's not what you would normally use. Um, one of the reasons I use it is it never fails. I mean, I've never had it fail to ferment. Some of the fancier yeasts that are more targeted at different products Every once in a while, one of them's like, I don't know what I'm doing. And it just sits there for a week. And at that point, into five gallons, you just pinch. Just And I'm talking, you don't pitch it in. You pinch a little bit. And that's it. Okay? So, how much yeast do you need? Well, uh, come on. Open. Open sesame. Uh, How much yeast? I'll show you. This is embarrassing. Supposedly, you're supposed to use a whole packet in five gallons. Never done that, ever. Okay? You're also supposed to preheat. Do you see that? Do you see how much yeast I used? It's spreading out like cars in a parking lot where they never want to park next to each other. Okay? Let's see. We're going to do this really professional here. 
I'm going to mark on the bottle, okay? So that we have an exact height there. That's just above the height. Okay, and internally, you can see some of those grains sinking. They're going down. Okay, doesn't matter. Sometimes you can play with it and watch them sink. It doesn't matter. They haven't dissolved yet. It will take them a day or so to wake up. Uh, in the background, there's my stock background. All right, here's the magic. Blow-off tube, okay? Um, I drill a hole and I have a tubing insertion press to make these. Most people don't have that. Don't worry. You can buy this kind of thing for like a dollar, dollar fifty, doesn't matter. This has been used a dozen times at least. Okay, so the actual price per use, a dime. Okay, grape juice runs about three dollars, sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less, depends on your store. Okay, yeast, you saw how much yeast I used. The entire packet, uh, you can buy them for a buck and a half. Um, if you go to a, a nice store, sometimes it'll cost you three bucks. You saw how much I used. If you use the one from the grocery store, the one that's designed for making bread, which I told you not to do, um, it will make an inferior product. What you're looking for is wine yeast because once it's done doing its job, the yeast will settle to the bottom and you will have a clear product and it tastes better. Okay, ready for the magic? That's the magic right there. Done. That's it. Now, I will admit I pre-cleaned that blow-off tube, okay? It's not magic. It's not rocket science. If they could do this, you know, thousands of years ago, we've got to be able to do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to watch it for the next few days, okay? Now, this little bit of yeast, I'm not throwing that away. Um, I have a couple more of them in here. And if you look very, very... Oh, poot. Spilled some. There's a thing on the side that says 12-2019. Okay. That's your best buy date. Um, as I'm taping this, it's... Uh, 2022. So it's three years past its best by date. And I used some of this last week and it worked just fine. Okay. As long as you keep it in a refrigerator, you'll be happy. And it'll stay asleep. It wakes up once it gets wet, once it gets sugar. All right. I don't know what else I can babble about. We're making wine.